is working in the you can have guests oh fantastic i can have good to know oh, there's a wish list can be come as a look at us fantastic i think we're pretty much out um let's quickly just make sure that everything is working well this is the host and uh, host uh, guests um and so i think i'm gonna start doing this this is gonna be like the pre-live so before every broadcast or every connection with everybody here i think what i'll do is i'll do like a pre-live like premature elivulation <laughs> that's what i'll do and it will be like a nice time for me to sort of like get to testing and just in case, you know, like with ESCOM being ESCOM and there being so many different little things that could go wrong or could go right or that might just not happen. Mine would, either way, does, I think that's what's important to do. So always to think a few steps ahead. I mean, how many times can you think back to where you just wish that you had a tiny little bit more of that? uh hindsight in foresight instead <laughs> because instead of being like yes like yeah, yeah, if only i if you could rather have that moment a lot more frequently in foresight wouldn't it be better so i think a good way to do that is to try to just like take advantage of opportunities so i want to do that with this and with the daily lives if you don't know i do this every day at 1 p.m and we are growing all the time like it's progressing into something different and it's turning into what, not different, it's turning into what it was supposed to be and what it was intended to be from the get-go. Um, so I am liking the idea of doing like a little pre sort of a session so that I can also ask for those others that come in and then they don't want to actually be here to leave and uh, I can do testing of like stuff. Oh, hello, look there and my signal is also working good so I can see another point. Welcome. Yeah. So, nice here. Yeah. No, uh, the as well, like, like stays consistent because then it's like, it can not do. Because if you're anything like me, you, you, listen, it is hard enough to try to remember some of the family's names, and it's even. <laughs> Even trickier when you just try to remember some of the online names. But I'm glad to see that you're here. So now, like, in this pre-live session, we can do that. I can check, make sure you guys can hear me. Make sure. What you think? Like, this looks, this looks pretty cool. Huh? Nice. I think that's a nice little feature. I'm going to start doing this with all of them. Uh, so that anybody that comes in doesn't just see, you know, the same... I work in my garage and it's probably going to have to change soon because, because it's starting to get cooler. But I, I, I think it's important. I don't want you to get bored of what you're seeing. And, and I think this is also a great way of highlighting the amazing additional connection. Oh, it's good, mate. Sorry, that's the rainbow's tea. Oh, nada. So I'm going to do this uh, with all my lives. I'll go online before. And if you like come in, like Nadia already, it looks good. Yeah, the garage door is, in, is old now. <laughs> and already the bird the Tiger Berg has got my name on a waiting list. <laughs> but yes, you see, this is this is what I keep I, I don't I know if you if you are new and you maybe haven't um decided to jump on with the community and you've never really uh, even seen this and you're just like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah, that's pretty cool, but it's kind of bumpy. From my end, it looks a little bumpy. I don't know if it's because it's like three or four layers of things, which is so cool that we get to do. Uh, but I go live, I do funny videos, I do skits, I like little voiceovers and accents and stuff. And like, that's all, that, that's like the byproduct, but the chorus is, uh, the chorus, the chorus am a being of love and light seeking connection with my tribe and i'm finding them all over the place from here we we've got communities spread out all over and and all i want to do is just wherever there's an opportunity to have the tribe voice being heard i'm going to make a gateway so this is not like one of those 
and the tribe has spoken. This is just like, it, it turns into what it was meant to be. And we just end up becoming these little moving parts and the fuel that helps it. So what lives have turned into is the garage has now gone. And also no D sexy. Yes, like I'm look sexy. A little title, Ochi, there. Our topic for the day that we're going to be discussing in, in our, our live, which is now one o'clock. Hey, it is one o'clock. And now there's no music. So normally there's like dun, 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 music in the background. Uh, but now if you pop on, you'll be like, oh, wow. Okay. So this is who this is. It's Mr. Etienne. Uh, this is what I'm watching. It's a daily live. All right, today let's talk femicide. That's pretty interesting. Uh, oh my word, they've got special guests and I can find them and follow them too. Freaking amazing. We've got to upgrade. We've got to be progressive. And if you've watched, if this is the first time and you're not getting to this, you're like, yo, this is, let me tell you something. One thing that's more powerful than the victory lap is the practice and the training that goes into it and then seeing how you get closer to that victory lap every single time. And all of what you're seeing now was inspired by the energy, love, and light that came from the community that is everyone on FTV. And I don't know, we, we, we're gonna, we, we, I just consider everybody a beautiful soul. Um, but, but if you have stopped by, welcome. Today's a very important day. Oh, it's one I am having official Oh, it's so fantastic. Official oh, oh, guests today, uh, which are going to really, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to set you up for anything, but what I will tell you is that these ladies and ladies like them are a recurring theme in the story that is my life. I am constantly being surrounded by, introduced to, connected to, seeing, and being around powerful, independent, committed, driven, passionate, and loving women that do not take, do not take the gifts that they've been given lightly, but that might need a little bit of encouragement because I know how hard the world is out here. And especially with the fact that we are not able to be so vulnerable and you can really just show who you are. And I've seen these two ladies and they have inspired me in so many ways. I, I, like, first of all, today's topic was legit inspired by Miss Da Vinci Codex. Shout out to Namibia. Saint Ves is Ves. Saint Lant. Miss y'all, love you. Je viet ons kom vir jylle. But she is a gem. A, a de... A la da 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 A simbature. A rose. A desert rose. A sing hier echt a song. But she's a desert rose. And we've adopted her already. She's a South African in. Or is a class as a kapana. She's one of the citizens of the best country and continent in the world, which is Cape Town. Uh, Western Cape. <laughs> and... She wrote a beautiful section of pieces, or let me rather say, uh, commentary on femicide that just was like, it had me shook. I was, I was literally thinking about, even last night while I was like sitting in my, all right, we're in the West Coast time now. And yeah, well, yeah, we're now in the West Coast and now we're operating on uh, uh, like San Diego, Los Angeles time. So I'm even functioning at like, high level corporate and all I can think about is what I saw in her video. If you don't know, go check her stuff out. She, she's a poet of words, a word. I don't even want to say wordsmith. Look for yourself. You'll feel it when you see it. Um, so, so she inspired this whole conversation and the positive feedback I've been getting from our community, our telegram community is just phenomenal. That is a perfect segue into our second guest who will be joining us a little bit later. Miss Aisha, Aisha, say hello, friends. Definition of what we were talking about yesterday, finding an answer. For a teacher who is now teaching online, who is a powerful energy source. I mean, I, I, we've, we've only connected through this. This is what's really so, so amazing. Like, we've only connected online and through this platform. So it's like, kind of like digital friends. But I feel like we've, Establish such a strong enough bond that we are here to do the work that we came 
to this plane for together for whatever time that sense and she's also here to come and share it so before we get started i've got like 60 seconds before i jump in with mr vinci codex who's already here which is amazing oh fantastic keep those comments coming oh yeah okay so it says here Share your thoughts. Lekker Jay, share your thoughts. And as a link in the bio, so you'll be the same. Anyway, anyway, so just uh, share your stuff. I'm so glad to see you here. Um, D- uh, um, DVC, that's our nickname for you. Uh, I'm going to send you an invite quickly. But what I want to try and start off with is I want to quickly give you guys some stats. Now, these, first, I'm going to start off with just like surface level stats regarding feminism. Uh, feminism. Femicide globally. And this was based on femis- uh, the femicide census org's website and they did key findings on a femicide census in 29 to 2018 so for nine this is like 10 years it's a decade's worth of research and they have discovered this information which is key to what we are say, uh, talking about today on average a woman is killed by a man every three days 62 percent of all women killed by men were killed by a current or former partner. At least 34% of women killed have children under 18 years old. A history of abuse was known in 59% of the femicides committed current or former partners or other male relatives were involved. Now that's just the global census. And because it's closer to home, I went to our, our source, Stats SA, whose website might be busy glitching. They might have run out of data or something, but I couldn't get it. But I did find a report, which I will be sharing in the Telegram group. I'll be sharing all this stuff in there with him, uh, with everyone there anyway. Uh, I did find the Crimes Against Women in South Africa, an analysis of the phenomenon of GBV and femicide by Stats South Africa. And this was written uh, in 20, oh, released in 2020, 2020. So this is two years ago. And this is important because it helps set the tone. So 50, approximately 51% of the population of South Africa is female. Let that sink in quickly. Okay? Black women are the most vulnerable with an unemployment rate of over 30%. Now, I'm not trying to make this racial. I'm just sharing some information that I really feel is key to helping understand what we're talking about today. Females remain more disadvantaged than males, consistently recording a higher headcount, gap, and severity measure at each point in time, however the difference between the sexes is slightly narrowing. So on all categories, women are more disadvantaged than men. 39.2% of the female-headed households in South Africa do not have an employed household member. Nationally, 43% of the children live with mothers only, while 33% live with both. Now, here's this. This is the shocker. Almost 50% of the assaults were committed by someone close, such as a friend or acquaintance, 22%. A spouse or an intimate partner, 15%. A relative or another household member, 13%. And about 29% of the assaults were committed by unknown male assailants. The last one I'm going to leave you with, and then I'm going to get Da Vinci Codex to come in and share uh, her take on on femicide and to share her, her view. One in five partnered women one in five. So if you look at five women, or you look at a group of women that are all in a relationship, married, whatever. One, two, three, four, five. That one. One, two, three, four, five. That one. 21% have experienced physical violence by a partner ever. It is time for us to make a difference and to have a conversation around what we can do to fix this. And because the focal central source of a lot of this terrible equation result deaths of our women girls and children is men we got to do better and by starting to do better what better way than listening to what the women have to say and that is as good of an intro i'm assuming i'm going to be able to get for you mr vinci codec uh i'm going to find you miss dvc there we go i'm inviting her over welcome uh her to come and share with us 
the inspiration for today's topic, really, which is phenomenal. Keep your comments coming. We will be in the tail end catching up with some of the comments going through them. But please remember, uh, a big a big part of what we love to do, because we only have 30 minutes today and every day during the live. We only have 30 minutes, but we love to continue on the conversation in the Telegram group. The reason why we choose that is because there's no restrictions. You can send voice notes. We can stream live. As Jay, uh, be cheat drunk if you are in your, like I'm sometimes in my two-piece even, then it's okay. The al Khalif may say violation, violation um, So, so, So consider it. Um, together with that, other than the unemployment figures that we heard about today already that were really shocking and terrifying, the, there is an opportunity, and I'm always trying to look for new opportunities and funneling those that I do come across for helping to make a difference. I'm just as tired of unemployment as everyone else. Not just because of the fact that it affects me personally because I am self-employed, uh, but because of the fact that I understand what that means to my community at large. You can't, you can't win. You can go fast by yourself, but you can go further together. And if we can at least try and help each other where we can, that is one step closer. And in my link, in my bio, there is a link to some opportunities there for some income. If you want to do some surveys, if you're a professional, if you work in IT or customer service, and if you are a matriculant or somebody that's taking a gap year, someone's looking for a remote income opportunity, commission-based opportunities is also available. I am concerned, Da Vinci, DVC, where you at, girl? I ain't seeing you. I've sent an invitation. I'm going to try one more time. Um, and you know what, I'm, 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 I don't know if this thing's going to stop if we do go over time, but this is going to be like extra time in rugby games. If they can do that in, in, in rugby matches and for sports and other stuff, then I feel like if we are not going to keep within 30 minutes, I'm not going to take your whole um, lunch, I promise, I won't. But if it means that we do need to maybe just make time or space for, cool, it's just, I'm going to still be here if you will. Um, so DVC... Uh, I don't know, honey, I can't reach you, um, and I, I'm not too sure why I can't get you, but I'm going to keep trying. Uh, let, let, let me know in the comments if there's anything that's happening. Um, Aisha, if you're ready, my dear, I think what I'm going to do is, in the meantime, I'm going to invite you in, and then we're going to from you. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> I know I like with God to learn because and they got to try because we're the cause of the problem and the only way to really learn is to listen to the women i'm not trying to put you on the spot and and this is not also what i want you to to really pay attention to is everyone that's listening is i want you to remember that what's being shared here is not the intention behind all of this is positive is literally rooted in love and in so if it's stuff you might not agree with let's rather find a constructive way of getting to a positive outcome instead of being a giant penis which we can see turns out to be a terrible thing uh so i uh, i think i've sent the invitation have i not aisha um yeah this is yeah can can they hear me in in, in the room at the back yeah listen can you quickly connect i, I think i guess i'll think down down is cool yeah go near yeah so i can go right come right three yeah. Hello, everyone. Okay. Hey, Ayesha. It's good to have you, my sister. Welcome. Thank you for sharing your time with us today. Uh, you're most welcome. I unfortunately cannot turn on my camera because I don't have enough followers. Okay. But okay. I just wanted oh, to no make problem. a suggestion. No we'll change that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I've got feedback here. Um for Da Vinci, if you could possibly make her a moderator, if you make her a moderator, right. she might be able to jump into the guest box. Ah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Yes, because I am still uh, your 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 moderator. Um, what's that application as? And, and, and it's perfect time that it has been approved. Uh, we have been systematically just going through the moderation process just to make sure everybody gets their notification and their invitation, but you're correct. Uh, I'm going to try that. Let's see that. Da Vinci, yeah. DVC. Because I do Vinci, think it's D important that we hear from her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. As as the inspirer. Oh, there we go. We're going to add her as a, a moderator. Da Vinci is a moderator for this live broadcast. Look at that. Look at that. Always, every time, every time I, I have interaction with you, Aisha, you're just like changing the polarity of any negativity that could have been there. It's like, oh, no, I don't know what's going to happen now. She's not going to connect. No, no, Etienne, calm down. Listen, brother, 
let me, just so true to the nature of why we need to protect our women. There's this sense of, of calm. I know a lot of people always talk about like, oh, men are rational and women are emotional. No, 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 no. I just feel like uh, there's an intuitiveness that a lot of people rely on. People spend thousands and thousands of rands on trying to get through courses and reading books just to be like, how can you listen to your gut feeling? How could you? And, and you've been doing this since inception, I think, you know, like from the moment where you're like, okay, Spadam Sally Kek Bakhtio, he's sauce, let's make a baby. You've already been like, I know exactly which one it is. And, 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 and I've respected that and I've always loved that so much. And, 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 and I felt yours, even though we don't really know each other, I felt yours all the time. And you've proved it again today. Thank you. The Chief Da Vinci's, uh, if your solution's going to work. Da Vinci, you there, I, honey? I, I'm, keeping, yeah, no I'm honey. keeping all fingers and toes crossed for this to, to, to happen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate Love you. And I'm, I'm, and maybe before you go, maybe just while you got you, maybe just something that you would feel that you've had to repeat over and over in the conversation that you've had with men. If you could maybe share that, something that could be like helpful. It's like, listen, ladies, I know it's tough with these guys. They are stupid. Sometimes they're smart. Sometimes that's a bad thing. And, and the one thing that I found is that it's easy to just help them relate by comparing it to insert thing here. If that's maybe something that you could do, would you, could you maybe like to share one thingy? And like I said, Bang, we might miss you. For, for, um, to share for men. No, that you would um, share with men. I'm not mm. sure. Um, you know, lately, you know how the universe speaks to us about speaking out truth, speaking out truth. And I've always been, yes. I come across as a very confident person, but deep down there's a little girl inside of me, still hurting, still hurting because I wasn't given a voice. All right, because we, we, we oh. lived, I lived in a time where you had to respect your elders, where mm -hmm. things like child molestation in families, was swept under yes. the carpet. We do not talk about this. Oh, yeah. We simply move on. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm never able to speak out because that's, I'm going to speak from experience, right? And mm -hmm. as a teacher, and I think that's why I became a teacher, is to help give children a voice. Yes, powerful. You know, especially for children who get hurt by other adults, you know? And it starts in the foundation phase. And as educators, you know, we are, you know, when the child leaves home, we are the first people other than their parents who are their teachers, right? And very often, when children feel comfortable, they will reveal things, you know, to an mm -hmm. educator. And we as educators need to give children whether, you know, and here we need, we shouldn't be making distinctions about boys being this and girls being this, because it happens to yes, boys yes. too. Violence mm -hmm. in any form happens to our boy children too, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we need to educate our kids from the time of, you know, when they appear as little babies in our arms, we need to create a safe environment for them to talk about the things that bother them and to give them the tools to protect themselves. Because I was never given that. You know, nobody told me what you should do when an uncle touches you inappropriately. Nobody taught me what to do when a partner who's supposed to be your safety net puts a gun to your head. Because I, you know, I feel for those women who have not survived at the hands of these vicious attacks. Because mm -hmm. I was there not once, less. but twice. I, I I just am very lucky that the universe saw it fit wow. for me to survive. But I know wow. the terror of a partner, an intimate partner, 
holding a gun to your head and telling you if you ever tell anybody about what's going on here, you dead. You are dead. And that you have to go and you have to go out and show a face to your loved ones that everything is okay. That's so Nothing painful. Happens. So I'm making it my mission to use my voice as a teacher to educate young learners on how to protect themselves, whether they be girls and boys, to keep themselves safe and to speak out, teach them mm -hmm. the power of no. Yes, definitely, so definitely. That's just what Aisha, I wanted listen, to Listen, let me tell you. You, you didn't just, my sister, you have literally, I am so proud of you. From what I heard in, in what you were sharing with us, I, I want to just take this moment, and I want you also to take a moment to just take the light that you just stood under to be brave enough to share what you've shared with us. It's not about how and the detail. It's the fact that you had the courage to start to tell your story, especially coming from a place where telling your story is taboo, which I'm sure a whole lot of people can relate to, where the moment that something's not understood or something is just, people don't know how to treat it or they just handle it like this for so many years or they're too ashamed or even worse, they have themselves been a victim to it so they don't know how to react or do anything to it, have been just letting things go and being able to speak is, is one of the first steps to getting that healing from that pain. And I am so, so proud of you. And I'm so grateful for you sharing that. And I'm so happy that you are making more than just a decision to do something. You are actively affecting the future. You're saving lives. And from everyone, those we've lost, those who are still coming, those who are in the process of, dis of not knowing which side of the line they're even standing on, Thank you, because your words will resonate and speak to those who cannot speak for themselves so that they know they're not alone. And that if they need it, there are people that have a light, that know, that can relate, that can help them out. Thank you so much. You are a superstar. Go and please go and check out her, 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 her tag. Join the community and connect with us. If you want to help, if you're an educator, if you feel like there's anything that you can uh, assist with and i'm not like yeah this is an appeal to be like yeah please let's collaborate no 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 no. this is about us as human beings doing exactly what aisha, aisha is doing is it's one thing to say it's enough it's another thing to think about let's do something but it's a complete objective a duty of us all to do something whatever it is aisha thank you so much my sister i appreciate love you you have a beautiful day thank you for joining us today you're most, you're most welcome etienne you're amazing. Okay, I'm going to Have jump out. We'll talk again if, soon. Let's see if uh, Da Vinci can join us in the box. True. I'm going to try her again now. I'm going to try her again. Have a great day. Thanks again. Oh, that was so amazing. You, you know, two things that really just want to, I just want to quickly circle back to that was being discussed there is pain. Because a lot of people always just, some, some people, especially men, because they are driven and I speak from a place because that's the only thing that I can reference is I consider myself to be a man, not just biologically because I have a tolly, but because I, I identify as a man and, and masculinity. I'm not even going to get into that. that's a conversation for a whole different day. Gentlemen, please, we got to have that conversation. I think maybe that's what we should do tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk about that, but, but it's pain. A lot of us are so concerned, like, yo, yo, you know what they, they, they're getting abused. There's like chopping up guns are being held in people's arms and legs. They're being dismembered for no reason by a random person that comes into the house that was coming to break in and maybe steal a TV that they didn't even know was going to be there. Oh, look, a woman and a child. Oh, that's inconsequential. Let me just blender you up. So caught up with that, that we miss the find details of the pain that that pain stems from somewhere it starts as something that might not be even recognized that as pain it could be dismissal it could be repression it could be so many things and if we can maybe just start to cause less pain 
that's one way of us trying to at least make a difference in, in, in the numbers and not just the numbers in affecting the lives of our brothers and sisters, the, the children, and specifically our women and our girls. We cannot, we cannot allow this. And the second thing that was important was education is the power of education. I keep saying this and I'll say it again. And I'm, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of edu Don't tell me you don't know how to do something or you oh I'm too stupid. I know it's hard. I know it's sometimes it feels like it's impossible for you to even just try to pick up a book or learn a new skill. But I can guarantee you that when you get into the process of appreciating what you learn and applying what you learn because you understood it, you will have such an enriched experience and you'll be seeing how much more positive the outcome of the things that you are looking at and where you are. You want to see problems, you'll find solutions because of the fact that you're educated and you can curb systemic problems in the bud, like immediately we can stop it. So those are two important things. Thank you, Aisha. I really appreciate you sending and sharing that with us. I'm going to try you again. Uh, DVC, you there, girl. Uh, let's just quickly try again. Let's just see one more time. Please continue to share your, um, uh, um, um, <laughs> your comments and your thoughts. Um, I know that we don't have a lot of time. I know that there isn't really a proper opportunity to do this because we can't do this justice. This is something that should probably be dedicated to one of the channels on DSTV that they ask you to pay so much for. There should actually be a radio station on all of the SABC channels that you can pick up. It should be dedicated to having this conversation, informing, educating, shaping, helping people get updated, helping break myths. It's, it's, uh, sorry, I sometimes get a little bit carried away. And it's not just because I am a dad of a daughter. It's not just because I married the love of my life who happens to be a, a woman who is the queen of queens. Not just because of the fact that I am convinced that the reason why I was surrounded by so many powerful, strong females throughout my life, it was literally to prepare me to help Sherpa and Shepherd, my fellow men, that are not, it's not that it's your fault if you have not been a perpetrator, but you are guilty if you don't do anything to try to stop it, especially if we are not trying to at least, at the very least, set a proper, respectable example for our young ones. So, so I feel like all that coupled with, like this is something that I know a lot of people might not talk about, but even in my past, I wasn't, it wasn't pure. I, I, I had... I had, I have mistreated women. I have misused women in my, in, my, in my ignorance, in my time of own pain that I couldn't understand, not to take away from what I had caused. I was able, I, in that moment, even me was guilty, but it doesn't mean that it has to stay that way. It doesn't mean that, sure, you've done this or you've been, a, what do they call it? It's almost like this thing you you gain skill points if you're a player because you got like so many girls and whatever. Like whatever. Like if you feel like you you it doesn't make fulfill you. It, it's like you know, I I hate the way I feel because of the way I treat women. Because the way I treat women has nothing to do with me, but has everything to do with what I'm wanting society to think of what I'm projecting to be who I am. And and. And listen, kings, don't get me wrong, be you, but you cannot, you cannot be you at the expense of anyone else, regardless of their sex and gender. Don't dish it out and be afraid to get it. DVC, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure, girl. I, I, I'm trying to get you on and I'm going to try one more time. I'm, I'm going to click this thing, link. Invite has been sent. I'm going to try and send it one more time. It's really important to get you on. And, and I know if you just jumped in, welcome. Thank you to uh, the Daily Live. And I know it's like, yeah, we're talking femicide here. And here's this man just rambling and talking. And, and I'm hoping that from my, let's call it novice, still necessary to learn and grow and train and become better and constantly 
find ways of influencing more than just like, hey, guys, you got to treat women better and stop being an asshole. And, and, and you know, like really going beyond the practice, what you preach and to put the money where your mouth is, like living it. I know I'm still miles away from what I need to be. But I'm hoping that even though you've just jumped in today and you've just spotted this little conversation, this rant, and this really important and close to my heart and so many other, and really what I believe should be a, a focal point in our general society, consider sharing your opinion. Consider sharing your story. Consider joining a community of people that are like-minded to, even if it means that you just want to listen, even if it means that you just want to say, consider it. Because we, it starts with what we have. I, I have this, this thing that I, this mantra that I, like, I, I not chant. It's, it's almost like, it's, it's like, you know how when you, you, you realize that you're breathing, you know, Oh, wait a second, I'm breathing. And then you like try to pay attention to it. You say, I am breathing, I am breathing, yes, I am. It, after a while, it's just like, wow, how am I even able to do this? But you do that unconsciously your entire life from the first time that you take your breath, right? That is a phenomenal feat. If you are capable of getting to that level of, I would say, unconscious awareness, of living, then you've succeeded. And I'm hoping to do that. And a bunch of us are like that. And you're going to do it by connecting to others that are similar. And we can do that through these platforms, which allow us to not be restricted by our area, geographical thing, and by time, which I'm only going to go another five or six minutes. I'm waiting until they give me a notification. Unless if they cut me off, please click on the link. Let's continue the conversation in the bio. I think we will have Every single, what is today, Wednesday, I don't care what day it is, we will, I will find the time to dedicate to this conversation every week, and we will continue to have it. Um, I, I've really tried uh, Da Vinci DVC request sent, but I can't, I can't find you, dear. We're going to fix this. We're going to try and sort this out. Um, I think maybe what we'll do is in the post-conversation, maybe even tonight, because I've noticed that a lot of people are on late at night. Maybe in the evening, we'll do this in the Telegram group. We'll stream. We'll have a stream call, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to catch this up. The important thing that I really wanted to get across from, from today's live is to help you realize two things. One, there is stuff happening that is being said and that is being fought for, that is not the front page news, that is not a priority. The true pandemic is not being discussed. The true violence against humanity, the true crimes that are being committed on a daily basis have not been given enough attention and enough air and enough sight to have had an impact to bring down these numbers. I cannot, I cannot stand by and allow for being who I am, connected to the people that I am in this community and others at large, to not say something, to not allow for others to speak and be heard, and to do something about it. So, so if you feel the same, you want to continue, please, that was, that was one part. The other thing that was really important for me is I want you to understand the power of you. You might not have the skill, you might not have been used to doing something, you might not be a speaker, you might not be familiar with being in front of other people, you might not be used to sharing your opinion where somebody can actually hold you accountable to it. You might not have actually been challenged by having somebody take what you are saying or standing by and saying, look, these are the things that I just want to ask some questions about that's not only trying to help you, but that is specifically not trying to break you down so that you can get to a result that's really going to be beneficial for you. That is the power of social media. That is the power of connectivity. That is the power of the you of the many. Never forget that even if it's a fleeting thought, even if it is something that you consider to be less significant to others, the fact that the thought was born in your mind, it invoked an emotion and it was linked to an intention that was directly related to an outcome that you wanted. 
meant that it is tied to your purpose and you're meant to do it. You're meant to say it. You're meant to sing it. You're meant to make it. You're meant to work there. You're meant to be with them. You're meant to look like that. You're meant to connect with people like that. You're meant to feel like that because the more you get closer to what you are actually meant to be, that is when you are actually connected to what you were meant for. I hope that a little bit of insight that came from today was able to give you some perspective on the power that exists in you, on the atrocities that are happening in our world and that we have to make a difference on, and the fact that we can actually do something about it if we connect as a community. To all my, my kings out there, you have a duty. You have a responsibility to make conscious decisions, to step into the role of the person or the man that you think is supposed to do something. You guys have been amazing. Link in the bio. I appreciate your time. I'm sorry we couldn't read the comments. We're going to continue the conversation in the Telegram group. Love, light, happiness. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Might not catch you because I'm going to be helping my dad, but I will let you know, I promise. You will find out first in the Telegram group. To Aisha, thank you so much. Continue your good work, my sister. We love you. We appreciate you. And we cannot wait to continue to help you build on the steps that you've taken today. DVC, power of your, your voice, the power of your vision, the power of what you created brought us here. Look how many people are connected. Look how quickly something that you did sparked a wave and a ripple effect in a movement that we know we all need to get involved with. Never give up on yourself. Shine your light. I love y'all. I'll see you again. Sorry for the long one. Ons gesels weer op aan date. All right. End now. Sorry about